What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters and while my stash is definitely getting low, many more empty boxes than full ones behind, one of the remaining booster boxes I had was Conspiracy. Now this is a multiplayer format, uh, mostly for draft. Uh, this is one of the boxes that uh, normally when I open boxes people cringe a little bit and say that they should be drafted. Um, and while I the collector in me doesn't really care. When I open Conspiracy, I feel a little, a little dirty. You know, it probably should be drafted. But I remember drafting Conspiracy in the Hilton lobby with Zemet and Andy and many others until 5 in the morning. And I feel like I have drafted Conspiracy enough. This is my final box of it. And I decided, why not? Get back to a few days in a row of doing what most of you like, and that is opening up product. Uh, it's hard to maintain, but here we go. Very cool wrapper. I actually really like this booster box layout. Um, I'm surprised. I guess for shipping reasons, maybe they didn't stick with it, but I think the display is pretty rad. Um, I wonder if they'll they'll probably do the same thing for the new conspiracy set. Um, this set is definitely interesting because when it first came out, <clears throat> there are all sorts of there were all sorts of reprints and cards that were uh, in Legacy and stuff like that. Um, Dak Faden reprints like Exploration, Mirari's Wake, um, cards like Scourge of the Throne, which is like uh, a few bucks. Uh, but foil versions are insane. Cards like Reflecting Pool, Mar Marquesa. The, the prices on these cards are a little crazy. Um, outside of Dak Faden, which is only... Well, it's not only... I don't want to say only. But it's a $20 card. Um, the foils are where the real money's at. Um, so maybe we'll find ourselves a foil brainstorm or a foil Dak Faden or a foil um, conspiracy. There's all sorts of interesting foils uh, that we can look for. We have Jetting Glass Kite, Barbed Shucker. That is two in the. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Reckless Spite, and our rare is Drake's Town Forgotten. We have a foil assassinate. Maybe I'll separate these. And we have our Conspiracy Sentinel Dispatch. And a lot of people took these cards and made cubes. and um, Which is, of course, why you see some of the foils the way they are. Uh, foil Dak Faden's close to $300. Now that we see it being reprinted, uh, it has dropped a little bit. But it's still very expensive. Here we have Factor Fiction. This is a, was at one time a decently priced uncommon to pull. I don't know where it sits now. Uh, Woodvine Elemental. Lead the Stampede. Oh, and a Council's Judgment. That's a nice pull. That card is still holding good value. Um, I thought, yeah, that's eh, about six bucks. Um, again, foil versions are probably crazy. But that I feel like that card was close to $20 for a while. We have Unexpected Potential and a Spirit Token. I found this draft format really, really interesting and fun. I, for me, it was the first multiplayer format I'd ever had experience with. And the um, politics of multiplayer was a lot of fun, especially, you know, after a few drinks or, you know, with uh, buddies and things like that. Boxes of this are still very affordable, well under $100, so... Um, if you're interested in drafting Conspiracy, it's plenty to be had still. Soul Catcher, Elephant Guide, and our first mythic is Pristine Angel. Very nice. We have Intermediate Action and a Squirrel Token. Gotta love those Squirrel Tokens. Everyone loves themselves a little squirrel. So yeah, I definitely had fun. Get, just getting back here from uh, GP Minneapolis, I, I've been meaning to do kind of a breakdown of everything, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Soul Catcher, Wood Sage, Rune Servitor, and a Stifle. Wow. 
you know, at release, um, this would have been a very expensive box. I feel like Stifle was really high up there too. Now it's only um, TCG mids, about 450 Council of Judgment about six, but I feel like both of these were close to twenty dollars at one time. Grenzo's Cutthroat is a foil, and we have Cogwork Librarian. So interesting, yeah. Here we have uh, a construct and then a construct token. Conspiracies, conspiracies were very interesting. Um, at first, I was kind of like I didn't know how to feel about them, but they did definitely make the game um, more fun. Uh, not many of them were super powerful, so maybe in the second round we'll get a little more interactive with the conspiracies. I definitely liked the ones that affected the draft, you know, where you could take two cards or you could add a pack to the draft, things like that. Um, oh, yeah, that is Cogwork Librarian, by the way. So you draft it face up. As you draft a card, you may draft an additional card from that booster pack. If you do, put Cogwork Librarian into the booster pack. So a very fun way uh, to affect the draft itself. We have a Drakestown Forgotten. I feel like we already opened that. We did. So I got, I got hopefully some artist interviews lined up um, with uh, Victor Minguez, hopefully. Um, Jeff Marcola and um, those two are the two that got back to me um, so hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys a cool interview with some pretty um, well-known Victor is pretty new to the scene in fact this is his art right here on this card but we have Mortify solid card Glimmer Point Stag Silvala's Charge and Silent Arbiter and we have a foil Cogwork Spy that's an interesting uh, card to draft as well. Reveal it as you draft it. You may look at the next card drafted from this booster pack. So it's kind of fun that a lot of these could go in a cube, you know, um, which is a draft format that I did for the very first time in at GP Minneapolis. Drafted a powered cube. I did not get to draft any power, but... <laughs> I saw it around. Marquesa's Smuggler, Marquesa's Infiltrator, Victimize, and Reign of the Pit. Power play, solid conspiracy. Still dealing with a bit of the flu, but uh, the trip was definitely worth it. I uh, had a great time. Uh, unfortunately, I had the flu like on Monday and then on uh, Monday of the week, and then I thought I had beat it, but then a couple of late nights in a row led to it kind of coming back, and now I'm really kind of getting my butt kicked. Air Servant, Heckling Fiends, Bite of the Black Rose, and a Marquesa or Marchesa. Um, one of those is correct, probably Mar Marquesa or, or Marchesa. Very popular commander with dethrone other creatures you have. Control have dethrone. When a creature you control with a 1-1 one -one counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. Very strong commander. Cogwork spy and a squirrel token. So hopefully I'll be able to bring a couple more artist interviews. I know I've gotten to do Peter Morbacher and John Avon in the past, but... Uh, these guys, I spent a few hours at the bar with them, and it was a lot of fun. And I was definitely a fly on a wall in a situation where I <laughs> didn't necessarily fit in, but they were all very nice. Aaron Miller was there too. Wind Dancer, Uncontrollable Anger, Spectral Searchlight, and Adri Edric, Spy Master of Trust, another pos po popular commander. Um. Yeah, thanks to uh, Vorthos Mike, who booked um, like a VIP lounge at the bar on Saturday night, and Zemet snuck me in there. Um, I got to be a fly on the wall for some very popular magic artists talking about magic artist things. 
Woodvine Elemental, Palaka Worm, very solid draft card, right? Spectral Searchlight, and Vidalkin Ori. This card is still holding at about five bucks, so pulled a couple five dollar rares. Not too shabby. Sentinel Dispatch is our conspiracy. I thought we had a foil in there for some reason. So yeah, booster boxes are getting low, but uh, this one came out of the personal vault. Hopefully, um, I it looks like I might be starting a regular day job in uh, July, which would hopefully allow a little bit more extra money uh, for opening some more vintage stuff too. Heckling Fiends, Vampire Hexmage, Gamekeeper, and Heartless Hidak Hide Hidetsugu. I know I've said that right at one point in my life. Cogwork Tracker. So hopefully I won't feel, I don't think the channel will experience it probably until like the end of summer uh, or into fall, but I'll get caught up a little bit and um, I'll have some more resources for the channel, which will be great. Uncontrollable Anger, Sky Spirit, Rune Servitor, a Decimate. Destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, and target land. Fun card to play in Gruul. Brago's Favor, also very good. So how many of you guys drafted this? By the way, I've got a giveaway where you can win a couple different prizes going live. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description uh, so you can enter it. I haven't put the video up yet, but I will. So keep an eye out. I'm going to give away, I think, a couple of fat packs, and it'll be free to enter. So follow the link in the description for that. Council's Guardian, Council Guardian, Extract from Darkness, Explorer Scope, and a Route. Destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. Just love those board wipes. Yeah, Puka Trade is going to send sent me some fat packs to give away, so I'll be giving away a Shadows Over Innistrad uh, fat pack as well as a Battle for Zendikar fat pack. Easy peasy. Unquestioned Authority. Favorable Winds. Lead the Stampede. And Realm Seekers. Cogwork Librarian. I'm trying to think of the one... Um, the one where you add a booster. I forget what that one's called. Booster Tutor? I don't remember. I'm sure we'll see it. Mar Marquesa's Infiltrator. Deathforge Shaman. Mirrodin's Core. And another Stifle. Holy cats. When this card was like 20 bucks, this box would have been bananas. Whisper Gear Sneak. Still holding out hope for the those foil brainstorms or foil, really a lot of these. If it's foil and it's playing Commander or other Eternal formats, it's it's a pretty big hit. Wood Sage, Gamekeeper, Victimize, and Magister of Worth. This was a card that I think it was a buy box promo, and it was also the card they snuck into pre-release uh, to build up hyper conspiracy. I thought that was awesome. We have a foil smallpox. Looks awesome. Lurking automaton. Uh, of the big hitters, I mean, we've got a lot of them. Reflecting pool, Mirari's wake, and exploration. But we've got double stifle. We've hit council's judgment. So it's been a pretty good box um, by old pricing. Now it's not that great, but I knew opening this box wasn't going to, you know, I mean, it's like the, in many years, it's going to be like the foil Dak lottery, you know, Death Forge Shaman, Fires of Yabimaya, Smallpox, and Sulfuric Vortex. This card is beats in multiplayer format. It's bananas. Uh, I drafted this in the Powered Cube. It's so powerful. 
Hurry of Brago's favor. So, interestingly, oh, here we have a brainstorm right there. I actually opened a foil brainstorm on camera, if I remember correctly. Out of conspiracy. It's not worth what it once was, but it's still a nice pull. Volcanic Fallout. Flame Rite. Peace Strider. And Death Render. Solid card. And we have Whisper Gear Sneak. And a Squirrel Token. Moving right along. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to those artist interviews. I think you guys are going to really like them. I've actually got a couple of interviews lined up from the GP. Fires of Yabimaya, Wake Stone Gargoyle, Warmonger's Chariot, and Custody Soulbinders. Backup plan and a spirit. Um, yeah, Jeff... Um, and Victor, I spent a long time talking to them, and I've already spoken to them uh, in direct messages on Twitter. Both will try to line up something here in June. So hopefully, it's sooner than later. Split decision. Galvanic Juggernaut. Gamekeeper. And Brago. Oh, poor Brago. The King Eternal. Another legendary creature. Poor Brago. It's okay, puppy. <laughs> it's okay. The, uh, I can't say what it was, but the D-B-R-A-N-G. And he's not totally sure, so he's a little ruffled right now. Flame right. Sword supply shares. Solid. Relic crush. And Spirit Monger, very solid card in draft. Just very solid card in general, I suppose. Brago's favor. <laughs> okay, provoke. Is that Fibblethip again? Looks like Fibblethip. Tragic Slip, pretty classic. Split Decision, Silvala's Charge, Reckless Sprite, and we have Bassandra, if you're drafting Boros, very solid card to open, don't want to necessarily first pick her. We have a foil in this pack, and it is a foil respite. We have a Secrets of Paradise. I haven't seen many foils yet, I haven't seen a foil rare. There's quite a few packs left still. It's been a while since I opened a whole booster box. At least it feels like it anyway. Intangible Virtue. Solid and token strategy. Explorer Scope. Skeletal Scrying. And a Grenzo's Rebuttal. Gotta make those ogres. Oh, we have a Foil Rare and it's a Brago. Alright. We're gonna have to look up. Uh, it's difficult to know um, if that one is like a crazy foil or not. It seems unlikely. But maybe it, of course, is uh, going to depend on its commander play. I don't think it's a two dollar card. Ooh, never mind. Fifteen dollar foil. That's a nice hit. Yeah, the foils are crazy in this set. There, there are worse foils of, to have pulled as a foil rare, I suppose. Obviously, like a foil stifler or something like that would have been pretty spicy. But I'm not going to complain. Everyone always needs that foil commander. Vow of Duty. <laughs> duty. Skeletal Scrying. Flaring Flamekin. And Wolfbriar Elemental. We have a foil breakthrough. That looks beautiful, too. Backup plan. Well, uh, the foil Dak Faden uh, dream may, may be uh, unlikely, but you know some of the uncommons and commons in foil are still very spicy. Wake Stone Gargoyle, Breakthrough, Rune Servitor, 
An Altar of Dementia. This card, too, at one time was, you know, five bucks or something like that. Uh, five or six dollars when it first came out. Um, I don't think it's really high up there now, but it's still a worthwhile card. It's probably worth a few bucks. Um, yeah, three bucks. A lot of threes. Canal Dredger, a rare construct. Each player passes the left last card from each booster pack to a player who drafted a card named Canal Dredger. Very powerful. So how many of you have these cards like in your cubes? Or did you turn just Conspiracy into a cube? Because opening this box, you know, you could kind of just turn it into a cube, I suppose. I think a lot of people did. Council's Guardian. Council Guardian. Bite of the Black Rose. That art really pops. Quicksand. And Dax Duplicate. That's a very, very strong card as well. Muzio's Preparations. Preparation. H. It's good on the whole. Yes, I agree. Preparation H is good on the whole. Extract from Darkness. Fire Shrieker. Predator's Howl, and Terastodon. Nothing like a 9-9. Nine -nine. We have a Foil Moment of Heroism. And then, interesting, we have the uh, Paliano, the High City, Legendary Land in there. I think we've only opened one Brainstorm in this whole box. I may have, oh, never mind. I don't think it's worth anything anymore, but I like to set them aside because people get mad when I don't set cards aside sometimes. Mortify, Mirrodin's Mir Core, Palaka Worm, and Magus of the Mirror. An Aether Surger, a rare artifact creature. <laughs> doobie, doobie, doo. We have Soul Catcher, Galvanic Juggernaut, Vampire, Vampire Hexmage, that art though, and Ignition Team. Not the rare you want to open. Cogwork Librarian. Solid. Yeah, this set was definitely meant to be drafted along with Conspiracy 2, so hopefully this will help get you some hype for Conspiracy 2. Um, fact or Fiction. I think they spoiled that a little too early, but, you know. Woodvine Elemental, Predator's Howl, and Demir Doppelganger. I really like drafting Demir. It kind of has a lot of what I like to do in it. Even though I still think I, you know, I'm an Orzov guy. Ooh, Crimped card. Crimped Brago's representative. Too bad it wasn't a, like a crimped rare. But somebody might collect that. All right. There's a whole oddities, misprints world out there. Breakthrough, Heckling Fiends, Morkut Banshee, and a Misdirection. This, too, was a $25 card, I believe, at one time. Um, definitely not anymore, but solid card. Probably uh, not, not worthless. Oh, that foil compulsive research looks beautiful. Uh, that Swords of Plowshares, by the way, is a couple bucks. Misdirection's only about two bucks. The Swords is three bucks. This is beautiful. All right, just a few packs left for us to find that. At this at this point, even just a regular deck fade wouldn't be bad. It's still the most valuable card in the set, and we still probably have room for another Mythic. So, fingers crossed. Favorable wins. Treasonous Ogre, Vampire Hex Mage, and Selvala. Explore Returned. Very strong card. Come on, deck. Give me a foil deck. No, no, no. I'm going to stop right there. Jetting Glass Kite. Spontaneous Combustion, Squirrel Nest, everyone's favorite. Got to get those Squirrel Tokens into play. And we have Grenzo, Dungeon Warden, very strong. 
can come into play late game absolutely gigantic. All right. Three packs left. So I hope you guys enjoyed this box. I know it's been a while since I just kind of got down to opening stuff. I'm going to try to do that um, for the week, first, at least first week of June here. Uncontrollable Anger, Sky Spirit, Lead the Stampede, and an Exploration. Okay, that's a nice hit. You know, this box uh, definitely would have been pretty spicy opening weekend. I mean, it's still a $12 card, so it's very strong. That's nice. At, at rare, too, multiples were possible. I definitely remember a couple truly insane boxes that I had opened. Bloodware Intimidator. More Kut Banshee, that art. I don't know if I would run or be... I think I would just be mesmerized. <laughs> I'm a pig. Flaring Flamekin. And Corrosive Portal. Okay, so... Um, not the mythic we wanted, uh, but whatever. <laughs> Lots of $5 pulls in there and a couple of $15 pulls. So maybe I probably broke even on this box. I think I bought it around... 75 or 80 dollars or something like that so that's not terrible death reap ritual swords of plowshares there we go relic crush and pff, double pristine angel well we opened back-to-back -back mythics to close the box out that was pretty good um overall anyway i'd say preparation h was good on the whole but pristine angel we got a sword exploration um god so many of these cards used to be like 20 dollars Altar of Dementia, Foil Bragos, nice. A couple, couple of swords, actually. Uh, Stifle, Vidalcan Ori, Marquesa, Stifle. Yeah, so I think overall, we probably did all right on this box. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe, and we'll talk to you again real soon. What's up, and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, Click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here, where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.